about slave trade, the transatlantic slave trade? Did you learn about that? Yes, Wait, is it true? Did it happen? Yeah. Now, was it Bible prophecy that it was going to happen? I don't believe it's Bible prophecy that this is going to happen. I still believe that it What was the race of the people that it happened to? So I'm looking at denial. Yes, sir. You just walked up. What's your name, sir? Uh, Chuck. Chuck. How you doing, Chuck? Uh, doing good. Uh, to the point about the seventh. Yes. The seventh. The seventh. The Jews say it's on Saturday. Yes. God said it's on Saturday. Yeah. And God gave so, it to them. God said it's yeah, on Saturday. No, so yes, but then I'm thinking what Paul says about the first day of the week. What did he say? Let the church meet to... And what did they do? They gathered and gave money to they get, Wait, wait, they gave money. Did they, did, did, did Paul keep the Sabbath day? Wait, wait, wait. So if, so if all of a sudden we say that's church, well, when that's not in the Bible, uh, that's not church. He did say... Because he met with a few, he didn't meet with the whole congregation. He only met with certain men that brought it. So wasn't it a repeated process, or I don't remember him saying it time, I pass up money, then I go away. No, no, no. no it, it was repetitive. He did it on a regular basis because it was people that needed assistance. Okay. So but was that the day that they kept according to the Bible? I didn't see a specific day in which they met, though. I saw the church meeting. Uh, Acts chapter on. 7, 13. Here we go. Watch this. Let's see. Because this is Paul. Paul came in in Acts chapter 9. Now, 13, 14. There we go. Watch this. Let's see what day Paul went to the congregation. Because you said that Paul was talking about the first day of the week. Read that. Acts chapter 13, verse 14. But when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch and Pisidia and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. Why didn't Paul say stop? Because he went, these are congregations that he's leaving. These are cities where churches were set up. In yeah. the synagogue. Who gathered in the synagogues? The Jews. So who's Paul teaching? Thank you. Who are we? Possibly Gentile. No. So, question for you. What's your nationality? What's Dutch. your nationality? Dutch and black. What's your father's race? He How is you? black. Okay. You're from the tribe of Judah. Same thing go for you. Same thing go for you. We uh, are the Israelites. Now, I'm going to prove it. How did our people get to America? Boats and ships. Huh? Boats and ships. Was it, was it cruise ships or slave ships? Slave ships. Cool beans. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Let's see if we're the Jews. And then you'll understand that when Paul went and taught in the synagogue to the Jews, that he never changed that law for you neither. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Let's get Exodus 20 so we'll find out what the word Egypt means because it was not called Egypt back then. It was called Mizraim or the land of Ham. So the word Egypt actually has a meaning when you look it up. Read that. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So the land of Egypt means what? Thank you. Let's go 68 again. Watch this. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into what again? Slavery again, because didn't they just come out of slavery under Pharaoh? 
He said they're going to go back into slavery again. Let's see how this time, Green. With shit. With what? With shit. With what? With shit. By the way, we're all, I speak unto you. Thou shalt see it no more again. And then he shall be sold unto your enemies. So we didn't see our homeland again. That's why we in America still in our land of our slavery. This right here then says that when we get off the slave ships over here, we're going to be sold to our enemies. Not friends, enemies. Didn't that happen to us? Now, read on, read on. For bond men, slave men, and bond women, slave women, and no man shall buy you. That means no man shall redeem you. That's why we call Christ our redeemer. Because in the back in the day, if I was poor, I could sell myself to him, my cousins could come buy me off from under him. Who's bought us out of this slavery yet? No one. We're still here. Now let's read the very next verse. Let's see what race of people he's talking to. Read. Chapter 29 and verse 1. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. So who are we? According to God. The I children see. of who? I still don't see that. I'm sorry. Did we come over here on slave ships? We did. Is that in the Bible that it was going to happen to the Israelites? We just read. The Israelites, yes. Now, the Israelites, the word Jew and Israelites is interchangeable. It's the same thing. Uh, when you read Romans 3, it's the same thing. They're called the same thing. So, are we the Jews? Are we the Israelites? According to what we just read, the people that were going to slavery on slave ships, are we the descendants of them? I'm not making that connection. You're not a... Are you a descendant of the slave trade? Are you a descendant of the slave trade? So am I. So, a slave trade. And your but, father is too. But there was slavery back then with the Jews. Yes? Okay. But which, how did he say they would get to this one? On slave ships. What okay. other people what did this that? happen to? What? what other race of people did this happen to? And what you see right here. There's a big slave ship. We're packed in like sardines. Oh, and we got yolks of iron on our neck. What other race did this happen to? Name him. Can you? Can you know I, why you can't? Because there's no history so, fact that no one else went through it. Can you read Only us. Sorry, can I hear that verse again about the ships? Absolutely. Slowly. 2860. How many? Did you read two about ships or one about ships? It was, it was actually two. Can you please read two? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What does the word Egypt mean according to God? You said it. Even if it was a place of slavery, yes. Thank you. So it said we would go into the place of slavery with ships. What other, what other race went into slavery on slave ships? You named that other race if it's not talking about us. Who? So I do believe there's a Nile River, yes, that yes. spans the whole of Africa at least. Yes. And there were Israelite people. Uh, all praise to the Most High. You see all of this? We didn't just come here. We went all over the world. Matter of fact, let's get that in Deuteronomy 4. What Matter I'm of fact, the 2864. Watch this. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it for you because you asked, well, ain't it the Nile River? Watch this. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Did any other race get scattered among everybody by slave ships or any other way of transportation? Um, in slavery, in slavery, did any other race of people get sent across the planet, so, whether it's close to Jerusalem or far from Jerusalem? Did any other race of people, did that happen to them? We said no, but it's the context of the Wait, verse talking said about. No. But it's the context you said no, the talking about but now. you're saying the context is different. I believe it's different. Go ahead. I want to hear the context of this. Okay. Do you understand what we're saying? No. Okay. You got any questions? About what was it? So uh, there's Upper and Lower Egypt. There's Northern Upper and, and Lower Egypt. Egypt. Yes. There were different dynasties. Yes. The Nile runs the whole of Africa. Yes. The Egyptians were a separate people from the Hebrews. Yes. 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 They had them. They had them. Okay. So they take the Hebrews to like yes. um, Southern. Did we do that? Or did, did we walk to Egypt? Didn't they walk into Egypt on their own will? And uh, 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 Joseph was in Egypt, and they put them in the land of Goshen, and they was not slaves at first, so but then after the Pharaoh died, he made them slaves while they were already in Egypt. So they walked there. So they might have walked. So that would mean your context wrong so far. Right? It don't so line up with history. slavery doesn't happen. Okay, we had a month of slavery ever done. No, it happened for so, a while. We've been listening for 400 plus. Old Testament, 
upper and lower Egypt. Now, wherever you have your slaves, the Hebrew people still came from, I'm assuming, lower Egypt, if not. Just wasn't the only Hebrew people. That was a family of the Hebrew people. Would you have to go back Israelites. Israelites. Twelve tribes. Wouldn't you have to go back and forth to pick up slaves once you have a running number? Even if they breed, people die up without All the purpose. So. Now I'm going to explain the history to you from Christ. Give me Luke chapter 21. Or 20, 21, 21, 20. Watch. Let's see if Christ prophesied about the same thing that was said back in the Old Testament because y'all read the New Testament don't understand it's a summary of the Old Testament. That's why that's why that dude could not get through his head that we must keep the commandments today. He literally was contradicting himself like crazy. Everybody up here told him, bro, you just said that. You gotta wait now. I'm gonna deal with your question. Read. Luke chapter 21, verse 20. And we need to see Jerusalem. Compassed with armor. You heard of uh, 70 AD, right? What happened over there in Jerusalem? 70 AD. So Christ prophesied that this would happen. That the army, the Roman armies, would surround Jerusalem. Three. They did. Then know that the desolation thereof is not. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. We're going to flee to the mountains. Right back into Egypt, the land. We ran right back over there. Imagine, we're here. We flee to here, then we migrate all the way around to here. That's where we was picked up at. That's where you get Timbuktu when you read the history books. Read on. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. All things that are written, we just read one of them, may be fulfilled. Because we would not be able to go to the temple and do sacrifices no more. We would not be able to go to the temple and keep the feast days no more. Because we're going to be in slavery all over the world. That's what happened. How do we get all over the world? It wasn't by plane, they didn't have one, but they had many boats. Read on. But woe unto them that are with child. Because our women, he said, destruction, a hey, woe unto you that are pregnant when this come up on you. Read. And to them that give suck in those days, for there shall be a great distress in the land, and wrath upon his people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. And that's what happened. A lot of us died. Read. It shall be led away captive into all nations. It will be led away captive how, and where? Into all nations. That's the same thing Moses said. Christ just said, look, what Moses told you back then is going to happen. It's going to kick off because y'all won't keep the commandments. So when these Romans conquer this city, you're going to flee into Africa and it's going to begin. So the verse we just read, isn't that referring to the uh, suicide at Masada? No. How is that not? How is it suicide? It's talking about 70 AD when Jerusalem was sacked. That's what it's talking about. So Jerusalem was sacked. Yeah. Many times. Ago. Yeah, and but I, this was talking about the one where the temple was destroyed they, and everything else. Uh, what was the uh, what was the ruling during king or ruler that did Titus it? And Titus and Vespasian. There you go. Okay, but every time Israel disobeyed God, they went into slavery multiple times. Went into slavery. But did they do it on slave ships? Did they go by slave? Because when they got conquered by the Babylonians, when they got conquered by the Babylonians, they was taken out of Jerusalem, up, oh, they walked. When they was conquered by the Assyrians, they walked. When they was conquered by the Asians, they walked. When they was conquered by uh, Moab and them, they walked. They right next to each other. But why does it say they'll be going all over the world this time? And why did it say they would actually be going by ship? Because the only way for you to get over here is by ship. They took it from here and shipped them all over. You, under, you know about slave trade? The transatlantic slave trade? Did you learn about that? Yes, Wait, is it true? Did it happen? Yeah. Now, was it Bible prophecy that it was going to happen? I don't believe it's Bible prophecy that this is going to happen. I still believe that it What was the race of the people that it happened to? Israelites. So I'm looking at the Nile, I'm looking at the Congo, I'm looking at the Nile. Did you, did you hear what he said? What race of people did he say it happened to? Israelite. Yeah. So that's the Jews. Yeah. So I think. So wait, wait, wait. If the slave trade happened to the Jews, then who are we? Because we're the descendants of them. So we are the only people who are traded in slavery. Who else? Name, name the only, name another race that went into slavery on slave ships like this, because it says like this. Well, it wasn't nearly as prolific or as economically devastating as we see today. Right. The Middle Eastern slave trade of Europeans. Europeans. Not, not just Europeans. I know. Not just that, Europeans. I know, but they were in every race. And that controversy with the Moors. Who's the Moors? 
Who are the Moors? I've heard they're Spaniards, Europeans. The Moors were black people. The word Moor means black. The same way our people walk around saying black now, that's what Moor means. It don't mean nothing deep. That was the people that was ruling in Europe for a thousand years. That's the dark ages. But they tell you the dark ages is when no society, no nothing, no laws, no, no, no civilization was there. No. Our people ruled that region. Right. It's buildings that are still standing there today that they can't rebuild because that's how great we are. But then what do we do? We continue to follow other nations' gods. So God said, because you sin, I'm going to put you in slavery. This now has to happen. So God said that to the Israelites yes. multiple times. And right but he said we were going to slave ships. How many times did that happen so is what I'm asking Where's the word ships? Can you please show me the word by... I know, but I'd like to see that. You were on the 28th, 68. Here you go. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Thank you, it was in paper. How much more do you need? <laughs> it's right there. It's right there. So I don't doubt the ship part, but again. So who else, what other race did slavery on slave ships happen to? Name another race you haven't yet. Because if you're saying so that someone else is, did, you have to name that race of people that it happened to because the only people I know that that happened to are the people on this side. Right. So, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So this... Because you say you're Dutch, right? Yeah, well, no, partially. Okay, but you said your father's Black, right? Okay, so your father, his ancestors, this happened to. Your mother, this didn't. So I guess, oh, actually these half of the point is. Okay. Okay. So of course, so I guess in the Bible, there's no such thing as half. But go ahead. The point it's is, not. Wait. What do you mean there's, there's no such thing as half in the Bible? No, there is no such thing as mixed half. people in the Bible. Okay. So what about the Amazonians? What about them? If they got Jew uh, daddies, then they Jews. Let's read that about them. You make a point. I'm, I'm saying it. That's what God said. Numbers chapter one, verse eighteen. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigree. What's your pedigree? That would be your genetics. Your genetics, your bloodline, right? Read them. After their families, by the house of their fathers. So you all what your daddy is. It didn't say you all what your mama is and your daddy. It said you is what your daddy is. That's because right. we and you, we carry the, the seed. Don't have the we carry the seed. That's what God said. Ain't nobody getting no chromosome. God said the man carries the seed. Well, the seed is the thing that impregnates. So I guess my big thing is then, I guess, no, I guess I have two questions then. So are, we the Jews? Are, are we the Jews? Are we the Israelites? Because this, this, this happened to us so, and no one, no one else. I believe that Sir happened. Right here. Sir, right here. Did this happen to our people? Did, did the transatlantic slave trade happen to our people? You just listening? Okay, well, we had the dialogue. So I might come back to you in a minute. Mike. You go to church, sir? You go to church? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good day. So, go ahead. My question then is, I saw a documentary yes. where they went and tracked down bloodlines of mm -hmm. an African people group, mm -hmm. and it said that they were Jews. Mm -hmm. But based on... How, how did they track down their bloodline? Did they have the blood of David, or did they have the blood of the so-called Jewish man today? I have to go all through the whole thing. Thank you. So but go back way, to that again, because the only way for you to know that, that they are the Jews, is by the person so in the Bible. I have to go back to the blood of David because they talked about... They don't have the blood of David today. Who the heck got the blood of David to actually put up against me and your blood? So do you believe in the legend of Solomon? What's, what's the legend of Solomon? The legend of Solomon said that Solomon and Queen Sheba... No, because it doesn't say that in the Bible. Show me a scripture where it says he slept with her in the Bible. It doesn't. Thank you. So no, I don't believe in it. It's lies. So then how can you say... Because these... That these black, are the... American blacks. All the Africa, people? All oh, crazy. All the people. I'll show you. Give me, uh, let's go to Genesis chapter 49. I'll give you just Judah right here. Genesis chapter 4, let's explain who Judah is today, on how we know that we're Judah. Do we got a homeland? We're in Africa, right? No, no, right. Now, what about all the other tribes? Do all the other tribes, do the, do the West Indians, do they got their land that they can go to? They say, do they can go to Jamaica and they can go to all these different islands. What about, what about the Haitians? They can go to Haiti. What about Ephraim, the Puerto Rico? They got land in Puerto Rico. 
They got the Native Americans, because we're in the land of the Native Americans right yeah. now, right? So we got all these different people. They got lands they can yeah. go to. Watch this about Judah. Read it. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall pray. What tribe did Christ come from? Tribe of Judah. Uh huh. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemy. It said, our hand will be in the neck of our enemy. At any time in history, did black people rise up against the white people? Yeah. Right here in America. They did. When? What time period? 1800. The Civil Rights Movement. That's why you got Malcolm X. You got the Black Panthers. You got all these black organizations. What? Sir, sir, don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. I want to ask you a question. You a pastor? Do you teach on Sunday? Do you teach your people to keep the commandments? No, you do not. Uh, you go to church on Sunday. So may I? So wait, I, I'm going to deal with what you have. Okay. Deal with what you have. Because we already proved that, that we are the people. So now this right here is saying that Judah, your hand will be in the neck of your enemy. Now, in order for you to put your hand around my neck, where we got to be? Can we be far away? So we're going to be right next to our enemy. What land do we stay in most of our people? Right here. We can't do we get to go anywhere else. We don't have a land we call we, we live right here among our oppressor. Read on. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's wealth. From the grave, my son, thou art gone up. And we have gone up because that's what we did. We rose up. Read. He stooped down. He couched as a lion uh -huh. and as an old lion. Now we become an old lion. That's why you got section eight to put the black man out the house. That's why the old men don't stand up and fight no more. Where is the black leaders now? Why those movements didn't continue? Because they've become old lions. A gift have destroyed our hearts, period. We will take section eight, food stamps. The man can't be in the house. The woman can be there and live for free. But if she get married, all that stop. Right. And the men will allow that to continue to perpetuate itself on the cycle. We've become old and we're comfortable now. Now we won't stand up and fight. Now we chasing the same thing they chase. We don't. Who shall rouse them up? Who gonna rouse us up? God is though. That's why we're rising up now. Is that on your Is that, uh, yep. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. And the scepter shall not depart from Judah. Read on. No a lawgiver from between his feet. Because that's who we are. And what between your feet, that is your privacy. What came out of Judah, Christ did. Read. Until Shiloh comes. Until Shiloh comes. We're talking about Christ. Is that it? Read on. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Now let's go to Zephaniah 7. Let's see who's going to wake up first. Because you don't hear, you didn't hear Northern Kingdom, the so-called Puerto Ricans and Mexicans teaching this first. You heard this coming from black people first. Let's see if that's in the Bible, that that's what God was going to do. Uh, Zechariah, Zechariah 7. Zechariah, chapter 12, verse 7. The Lord also shall save the kids of Judah first. So who will wake up first? Judah. Who's been teaching this Bible for years? The proper way. The so-called blacks, the African-Americans were doing this, teaching it to everybody else. God said he's going to wake them up first. And we're going to live right next to our enemies when we do it. All these other tribes, they got their What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 